Today I'm going to talk about the relationships between recruitment, training, dismissal, and redundancy. Um, recruitment is when the company gets more people to work and there is internal recruitment and external recruitment. Internal happens when the company gets employees inside the organization and external recruitment happens when the company recruits people outside the organization. Um, the internal recruitment is much cheaper but it's not that good because since they get the employees inside the organization, they might motivate employees and cause less disruption. However, there might they might not have new ideas or they are not the best person for that job. But external recruitment is expensive so the company might not want to use that. However, they it's much they have much wider opportunity, such as visiting universities and attract more people, and media advertise for the whole world to see about their company. However, there is a risk of recruiting them. Um, after recruitment, there is training. Um, employees needs to get trained for able to work on the job training and off the job training on the job training um is when the employees get the training in while working and off the job training is when they don't work and they go trick and they go get trained is the company might company might not want on the job training because it's much cheaper and they cannot get they cannot gain enough profit for their company and they might not want off the job training also because the employees don't come to work so they have more work to do and but however, they can gain lots of money since it's much expensive than the on-the-job training. Um, after that, there is redundancy and dismissal. Um, the company might not need the employees anymore, so they need to fire them. So, the difference between dismissal and redundancy is that dismissal happens when the employees have done something bad so they get fired and redundancy is when the company doesn't need the employees anymore so they have to fire them the reasons the employees get fired is when the company is doesn't gain enough profit so they don't have enough money to give employees the salary so they might have to fire them um, so, mostly employees get fired because, with the redundancy because mm, the company might be doing bad. So, so later on when the company gets better, they will need, um, employees again. So, that's how the business cycle works.